I don't know about you, but I'm sort of very uh, computer dependent these days. Uh, I think it's because my own memory is inaccurate and I've sort of interacting with computers brings back memories so fast and interacting with photographs brings memories back and with sound and recordings. I think whenever I hear a piece of music it, it brings back the place I first heard it whenever I hear a piece of music. No it doesn't but it's uh, associations in music and rhythm and in melody and in, in particular sounds that associate with other particular circumstances and the first time you heard it I could say free all right now I can uh, remember the first time I heard free doing all right now it was on this uh, chart program that they used to do on Radio 1 this chart countdown now it was probably Alan Freeman who did this this countdown uh, there she stood in the street smiling from her head to her feet this band free became quite big with that hit I suppose they were certainly uh, influential in uh, in the North Derbyshire area anyway and uh, I remember hearing this somebody had it on it must have been a little transistor radio because it was on top of this jungle gym this little climbing frame in the recreation ground in Tideswall and what also what also do I remember about this recreation ground in Tideswall is uh, there used to be these uh, council uh, council houses down the side of the, of the recreation ground the battery's gone in that light there down the side of the recreation ground and in one of those houses there lived this um, this this uh, elderly woman who would always sort of come up and be always out complaining about <laughs> how much noise the children were making in the recreation ground I mean it's <coughs> It's a playground, you know. What are kids supposed to do in playgrounds? Oh, we're not allowed to make noise in the playgrounds. Play quietly, children. Yeah. She was the mother, I believe, of uh, this guy who was a producer on Coronation Street. The long-running uh, TV soap opera. And one day, there was a bring and buy, was it a bring and buy sale? What they used to call them? There was bring and buy sales, wasn't there? And there was um, jumble sales. There's these various sort of sales that sort of go on, which is sort of the, the hub of uh, small, vill large village, small town life. There was one in the Wesley Hall in Sideswell. And uh, little little crowd gathered because because of this connection, they got uh, Pat Phoenix. Yeah, Pat Phoenix, who played Elsie Tanner on Coronation Street, came to Tideswell that day to the Fountain Square, and I'm standing sort of sort of over here. I don't think you get very close to it because of, you know the teeming crowds uh, come to see Elsie Tanner. I think she was on the front of a Smiths album, <laughs> but she hadn't been yet. But such was the cultural impact of uh, Elsie Tanner, Pat Phoenix, and uh, I think yeah, she was uh, the mother-in-law, or she, or she, I think she married for a time. Uh, this Booth guy who played the Scouse Git on uh, Till Death Us Do Part. So uh, the Scouse Git on Till Death Us Do Part was this Booth guy who was the father of Cherry Booth, who was Prime Minister Tony Blair's father-in-law or something. So fancy that, eh? 
Pat Phoenix in Tidewell, that direct line from there to Blair. From here to Blair and back again.